Welcome to Off-Frame Games, my name is Chris, and we are back playing Mages of Australia, where... Where, where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where am I? Uh, now, see, the problem is, this is, um, this is a second save file. Yes. Yeah, um, it was weird. There was an update on, uh, for Windows 10, that last couple of days, and I, um, I updated. And somehow or another... The recording for this episode and the next hour to two hours was really, really bad. I thought I could manage it. I thought I can tweak it and make it coherent and whatnot. It was not. I recorded the max settings and... Well, the settings for that and the recording were at about 240, so... Everything was jumping. I could not fix it for the life of me. So unfortunately, I had to restart everything, and on a separate save file, I had to come back. But we are back. Now we are back uh, to the mage of the, the tomb of the mage king. Where? I wonder what this is. Oh, why does it look like a chessboard? Hey, what's this person with the, with the crown over here? Intr introducing mage queen arena. The um. Oh, no, wrong one. The super special and awesome Mage Queen who loves Yes. And also messing with me. Also, I I still do not like her. I take way too much damage very early on. Now her pattern her pattern itself is simple. If I can avoid most of the damage of the first half, it's so much easier. I am not. So I gotta come over here. And hopefully not die. So keeping an eye on the chessboard. I have to slowly. So slowly make my way. And then if we can avoid most of her attacks, we should be fine. If not, then well, I'm dead. Well, you know, you know how much we love this kid. Yeah, still don't like that. So it's good that they actually allowed me to have the, nope, nope, don't wanna die. I'm not gonna die on this one. I've had to fight you one, one too many times for me to really want to keep fighting you. Ow. I survived on my first time through the game, through the boss fight, yes. Now she was, now she was fun. Now remember, she was the, er, she was the strategy queen. The queen who loved chess, who we pretty much threw away on the last episode. We like, oh, whatever. Nothing could possibly happen with her. Now we finally, we finally get to the part where the whole reason we're down here. Oh, look, the book, the book is missing. Maybe you should look inside the casket. Because, you know, zombies and whatnot. Uh huh. It's, uh, it's, uh, not there. I already checked. The casket is completely empty. Look, it's a birdie. I swear that this guy is a ninja. Like, he's not a ninja. But I honestly believe that he is a ninja. Um, so who are you, Mr. Ninja Man? I am a necromancer, on the task given to me by my elders. A task similar to yours, it seems. I'm guessing that you're a mage? Maybe. Who wants to know? Look, I'm here to find information on the Eclipse from the Mad King spellbook, but it's kind of missing. 
I was to ask the Mad King himself for the same info, but he's also missing. Ooh. Wait, are you telling me that necrom necromancers were not the cause of this? <laughs> you think necromancers had something to do with this eclipse? Yes. You look like a ninja, so yes. Uh, well, you see me here looking to stop the eclipse, just like you. Believe in what you see. I, that doesn't mean shit. Mages and necromancers used to have a pact to co of, to, of cooperation between them. When the Arunatar... Sure, we'll go with that. I landed here. Let's call it a truce for now. Sure, okay. I can also probably do something about that voice in your head, the one you were talking to earlier. I was talking to my book. That is highly rude to my book. Who may or may not be an artifact of unimaginable power, an unimaginable power. So uh, that's rude. I like how he just walks off screen into this little dark crevice, and like a ninja, he vanishes. vanishes. So there's a uh, there's something we gotta pay attention to now. The Mage King is missing. The Mage Book is missing. Somebody has the information. It. Somebody has the information and the King himself. The spirit of the King, at least. And there's one, one tiny detail we have to deal with. Well, the castle's on fire. But only one room. My people, I appear in front of you bearing bad, horrible, bad news. As you might have seen by the smoke earlier, a fire broke out in the castle. The fire was created by mages trying to destroy all that is right in the valley. Our dear Marquise courageously faced fire, trying to save the innocent people that were trapped in the flames. Sadly, he did not make it out alive because I and my fancy, fancy hair I'm not gonna take over. My first mission as ruler of Mastralia will be to exterminate all the mages so we can finally live our lives our lives in pieces. In peace. <laughs> yeah, so there is our um There is the there is the fun of everything that happens. And now the gentleman here, the tiny little necromancer who I will claim to be a ninja and you cannot tell me otherwise we've done a tiny little problem we've unleashed four ghosts was it four? Maybe three three spirits yes three spirits I killed the fourth I gotta go catch them I gotta go catch ghosts in a bottle seems very reminiscent of something Something about a man in a green tunic. Sorry, a fairy in a green in a green tu tunic. So let's make our way to Haven, and uh, let's. Well, how do I put this? At this point, in, at this point in time, everybody is out to get the mages. Now, what to say about Haven? Well. A lot's been going on. So. Enchanter, where is everybody? I take it you found nothing in the tomb about the eclipse. Also, look, I'm not going to remember his voice. Unfortunately, I don't get a chance to record all these in bulk like I do with some of the other games. So it's been a couple days since I last recorded. Or, well, last recorded a full working video. So, um, he's got a different voice. I apologize for those who are watching in advance and those who are not. Well, whatever. So I met a necromancer, he was not evil. He says he has nothing to do with the eclipse, they're investigating it themselves. Ah, well, at least we know. We will gladly accept their help in this dire time. So, um, where is everybody? Where's my mentor, who has yet to mentor me in anything in the way of the world? I'm the only one here right now, busy being the guardian of Haven. Emily is down by the instrument, observing the eclipse with all the others out protecting the valley. The Marquis seems to like fires. Well, the Marquis is dead. I mean, 
Oh no, the Marquise is dead. The castle burned and people are saying mages did it. And counselor Clovis wants to exterminate us all. Could a mage really have done this? A mage could, but not one of us. Everything is turning, taking a bad turn and I, I honestly, I, I've been a mage for like three days. Why is it gotta be like this? What? Why am I the catalyst? Do you think it's right? Do what you think is right always, and guess what? Tell me, oh wise, oh, oh wise sage. Tell me this really bad piece of advice, but is also kind of good. I don't know. I'm on the fence whether this advice is actually good or not. Ali. If you're trying to do what is right, do what is best for you. You'll usually be right. Look at me, I'm still here, still working spellcraft, and still happy to do so, even after I did this to me. I'm a lizard. Like I said, I don't know if this is good advice or bad advice. Help, it's greatly. They're burning it. Oh, yeah, well, um. So, if you remember, Greyleaf is my home. They kicked me out for burning, for accidentally burning my place down. And now somebody else is burning it down. And really, it's it's painful because I I honestly should be the only person burning down that which is my hometown. So now instead of goblins, I have to contend with you know these guys. They're exactly like goblins, only they have a longer reach, but I'm a mage, so it doesn't really matter. But good news, good news, I do not kill them. I simply knock them out with stars and ducks and everything. Guards came from the castle and did this. Called themselves the mage finders. Counselors, uh, uh, Counselor Clovis was leading them. They set fire to everything and killed everyone who couldn't flee in time. Some people may still be trapped in the village. Save them, save them. Uh... There's not much left of us. So... It's at this point of the game that I realized that... Okay, stop it. So it's at this point in the game that I realized that after everything's all said and done, well... There's been a lot of deaths in this game. And there's also been a lot of deaths in a lot of the games I've played. Pretty much every game I've played over recently is, uh, takes a turn for the dark fairly recently. There's the simple ones like Tokyo Dark, which, well, we honestly came to expect it from the first in okay. instance. Come on, out! Come on. But in all honesty, I didn't expect the Major Mistrala to get reach such a dark plateau. Because, um, the counselor, who is now my friend, he burned down my village and killed everybody. That's an asshole move if ever there was an asshole move. Right, okay, I need you guys. You guys, like, stop. Stop I'm trying to kill me. Now, I'm still, I'm still curious since two, oh, you know, fuck this one. I got it on I got it on my other save file. It's a rune, but it's kind of tedious and kind of long, and I honestly don't need to do it right now. Because once I finish this part, I'm gonna go back to my normal save file with all of the all of the good stuff. So we're still we're still struggling to understand the, the plan of the Marquise. Sorry, the the counselor. Um, he's, well, he's a dick. I know, can tell you that. So there seems to be a mage. There seems to be a mage who has stolen the point. Who has stolen the Mad King's book, as well as his body. So it is also possible for it to be a necromancer, or any any combination thereof. More than likely, it's Marquis. It's the the now new Marquis Clover. Yes, old man, I know you hate me. I don't like you too. I don't like you either, but, well, I need to save you. I know. 
How kind of me, uh, how kind of me to save some guy who doesn't like me. And that is six of six. Up here is where I stopped. And also, where we end today's episode. It looks like everyone has been saved. Thanks. Now, quick, the soldiers might come back. You need to escape. And hopefully, I, you guys need to leave too. They kind of killed everybody else. There's an abandoned mine shaft in the back. Here's the key. I'm going to take the key. I'm going to click here. Wait, where's... Safe file. Okay. Whatever. We're going to leave it off to on here for today's episode. Um, may feel a little bit rushed, but... Eh, I apologize. I at least it's good quality. If you enjoy the content, leave a like down below. If you want to mention anything, I may have missed. And mind you, mind you, on my main playthrough, I did get everything here. The two or three extra... Two runes of stuff, and I'll show you when I get back. Um... But yeah, just let me know if it, let me know if you guys picked this up, or let me know what you guys think of the game so far. And of course, if you hit that subscribe button, I will be be back tomorrow, and we can enjoy we can enjoy the game together. Later.